All right, y'all. Take two. I am a real blasting, and I wasn't thinking YouTube would have knocked the sound off my video or told me I couldn't monetize, which means I couldn't make a, nothing off of it. Yeah, and you don't make much off a of video, but it adds up over. And if you get some good videos, really good videos, with lots of hits and lots of comments, this and that, you do. You do. That does help. Uh, my best two or best one I can think of offhand is like uh, Mud One was my best video. Then I uh, tested my Badland 2500 winch. That was my second best. I mean, that's my first best now. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, we got exhaust pipe done. Um, yeah. I held a piece on there. And I had to do a couple cuts. And I, I kept my little old spacer on there to keep debris from going into the head. And man, I tell you what, when I took that pipe off a couple times, you would not be surprised stuff that fell down out of the pipe. Yeah. My little, uh, Cutoff plate didn't work good. <laughs> hey man, I can make a restrictor plate. Drill a uh, three-eighths hole in there and probably only go for 10 miles an hour. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Anyway, she coming along. Put oil in it. Um, the old grasshopper gave me this motor. And I really appreciate grasshopper. You don't know how much. Uh, he uh, had 530 in it, and I read up on small engines in summertime, and 530 is only good to, I think, like 80 degrees or something like that, maybe 90, and we hit hotter than that. So I got 1030 in it now. I'm going to run 1030 in it for a little while, because the motor is sort of new. I mean, he didn't put a lot of time on it, and it's still kind of breaking in. And uh, later I'll go with straight 30 for the hotter summer months. That's supposed to be the best, and if I want to ride this winter, I'd switch back 10 30. of course i guess if i really wanted to go high dollar don't usually do that but you get 5 30 synthetic and that'll run uh supposedly any temperature range now, that's according to briggs and stratton on their small engines and you know small and small engine air cooled engine anyway got the throttle hooked up and uh grasshopper did a really good job that's a CB handle grasshopper. He did a really good job on this uh, little carburetor uh, co hanger linkage thing. I've seen him done online. He probably found it online. And uh, the governor has not been removed inside. He's pinned back. He's got it pinned back with this. I'm gonna probably run a screw, a self tapping screw into the. Uh, into the house and then and uh secure it better or maybe a, a strap from there to there to secure it better i just don't really trust that that much but anyway it's a good place for your spring you know everybody does stuff different but the throttle hookup is great man yeah when i did my first one I ever did a predator i tried to make the linkage go the carburetor the linkage goes straight on to the carburetor and it's much better if you reconfigure this stuff yeah um yeah i'm gonna cut this gas off because uh i think at one time that carburetor was loading up but i'm getting ready to start it so anyway i did away with the oil sensor and i'm probably gonna shorten up this wire but those connections didn't match up, so let's leave it like that for now. Yeah, it's nitpicking stuff I can do later. But anyway, all right. Let's fire this beast up. And uh, I don't know if I got to choke on or not. I'll have to figure it out. I ain't figured out which way is which yet. Of 
I cranked up earlier, and it fired up easy then. bitch that uh, uh I've seen HO Motorsports use and quite other quite a few other people for rejecting carburetors and uh I think I got a gas leak somewhere I can't a cheap filter maybe or something dang it oh well I'm gonna get my shit off valve I have to figure that out Give him a shut off valve. <laughs> shut off valve. And I do want to run this gas out this carburetor to run a little bit out anyway. Enough, it satisfies me. Should have gotten most of that out of that bowl. <sighs> I don't know what was I saying. I can't remember. Anyway, she come along and I'm tired. But uh, yep. Yeah. I don't know this ain't the best video. And of course, I had to reclock the starter. And uh, yeah quite happy with the progress today just gotta uh, work on keying that jack shaft or the sprockets and uh, put some chain on and work out my fuel issues <laughs> and I think I'm gonna have to uh, I don't know Yeah, but you know, I think that's that uh, gas filter I had on my lawnmower that was leaking. I replaced. I think the gas filter itself is leaking. So I have to get me some gas filter, some adapters, and stuff like that, and get back on this tomorrow, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, that's it, y'all.